Summer isn't the biggest time of year for new game releases, but the thing about them is, if they're good, they can make a particularly big impact. This is mainly because there's not much coming out in the summer season. Plus, whatever you do pick up tends to get a lot of extra special attention because of that. As for this year's new games, July Slate is looking like a pretty standard release season. Nonetheless, this year's crop is looking quite solid if we do say so ourselves. And upcoming games July 2019 has to offer should satisfy even the most picky gamers. This July 2019's games include a Minecraft clone, an intense and much anticipated JRPG strategy game, and even an installment from the Wolfenstein series. In terms of an overview, we'll tell you the who, what, when, and how exactly this game is going to be special. If you have not subscribed to our channel, then subscribe to get all of our latest uploads. You can also like, comment, and share this video if you find it interesting. Number 1. Dragon Quest Builders 2 Switch, July 12th Maybe Minecraft wasn't your thing, or maybe you need some more hard fantasy in your voxel building program. Whatever the reason for not checking out Minecraft or Square Enix's masterful clone Dragon Quest Builders, you will soon have the chance to catch the crafting craze the second time around with Square Enix's Dragon Quest Builders 2. Drawing upon the rich universe and lore of the Dragon Quest series, the Builders offshoot combines crafting, building, and epic fantasy questing in one package. Best of all is that you don't need to have played the first game to get the gist of the second game. For the second game, the devs have gone with an alternative history timeline where the bad guy in Dragon Quest II wins and you have to clean up the world left in his wake. That's a nice nod to the long-standing Dragon Quest fandom, but the story is really less an emphasis in these games in favor of sandbox gaming. You might not appreciate the improvements made over the last game, but that won't really matter, as the charm and compelling gameplay laced through the DBQ formula will have you hooked. A few convenience features, though, are the updates that any player can love. These include fast traveling based on an in-game map system, as well as the ability to fly and even travel underwater. You can play Dragon Quest Builders 2 in either solo or cooperative mode with a friend on your Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 4 this July 12th. Number 2. Fire Emblem Three Houses Switch, July 26th. Getting into the Fire Emblem games is like deciding to become the video game equivalent of a Doctor Who fan. And it all has to do with the game's extensive and storied history as Nintendo's premier strategy JRPG game. But like the BBC's Doctor, you don't need to know about the previous games to appreciate the current title. That's because all of them have one major theme in common, and that is high-quality, tough-as-nails JRPG strategy action. Fans of stuff like Final Fantasy Tactics will love Fire Emblem, and even those of us just looking for some old roleplay game action will find a lot to love about Fire Emblem Three Houses, coming for the Nintendo Switch on July 26th. Two things distinguish Three Houses from other Fire Emblem games, and that is the first ever collaboration between longtime dev Intelligent System and Koei Tecmo, as well as being a mainline console game rather than something on the 3DS or other portable systems. Aside from the deep gameplay system at work and the complex mechanics that underpin battles in Fire Emblem, the other huge draw for many gamers is the digital equivalent of the never-ending story. We're talking hours of content, more twists and turns than a country road, and even political intrigue to make Game of Thrones jealous. If you're looking for the summer equivalent of the perfect beach book, Fire Emblem Three Houses should be it. Number 3. Beyond Two Souls, PC, July 22nd People often talk about video games catching up with movies, but there are too few true examples of that in action. Beyond Two Souls, however, is totally legit and blends cinema and gameplay in ways never imagined. Released back in the day for the PlayStation 3, Beyond Two Souls is described as both an action-adventure game and an interactive drama. Beyond Two Souls has the rare honor of being screened at a film festival, which should give you some insight into its drama bona fides. Starring Ellen Page as protagonist Jody, 
Beyond Two Souls follows the relationship between Jody and a psychic entity that she has had a lifelong bond with named Aiden. Described as interactive storytelling by scenario writer David Cage, Beyond Two Souls explores a unique brand of gameplay that is part action, part puzzle solving, but is 100% psychological thriller. There's no doubt that Beyond Two Souls is an amazing game, and on the PC, it should be even better. It just might not be for everyone. If you want something a little bit more meditative and art house for a video game, you won't find a better game than Beyond Two Souls, which is coming out for the PC on July 22nd. Number 4. Kill La Kill, PS4 and Switch, July 26. Kill La Kill is the latest anime sensation to come to video games, and it is one of the biggest adaptations in years, and is eagerly awaited by Kill La Kill fans and fighting game fans alike. Expect intense 3D fighting action featuring a cast of characters and vistas ripped straight from the show. Developed by A Plus Games and published by Arc System Works, this duo is the same one that brought gamers Little Witch Academia Chamber of Time, another property of Triggers. The devs are being pretty tight-lipped about the game's mechanics and overall direction, but if the past is any indication, we're expecting a fighting game filled with anime flourish and flash. In that department, Kill La Kill has its work cut out for it, but we imagine the goal is something between Capcom Street Fighter V and Guilty Gear. Reading between the lines, that might mean that Kill La Kill could be the next eSports sensation. Gamers can expect Kill La Kill to arrive on Sony PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch this July 26th. Number 5. Wolfenstein Youngblood, PC, PS4, Switch, July 26th. Have you had a chance to get in on the rebooted Wolfenstein series? If not, you might want to pay attention to an upcoming title that turns the series' traditions on its head. A new take on the classic first-person shooter series, Wolfenstein Youngblood follows the stories of Jess and Soph Blakowitz as they help the French resistance in Nazi-occupied France in the 1980s. Using the lore from the rebooted series, Youngblood is a non-linear game and comes with a human-controlled or AI-controlled companion for that portion of the game. You'll unlock in-game abilities and items as you complete missions, and the overall vibe of the game maintains the feel of the rebooted Wolfenstein, while also trying new things with the use of BJ Blackwitz's daughters. Expected for the PC, Sony PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch, Wolfenstein Youngblood will be available on July 26th. What are the new games in July that you are looking forward to playing? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.